Are you finding Western shirts while you're outsourcing? Well, here's how to master some of those keywords for Western shirts you might be finding, but you may be having a hard time figuring out those correct keywords to describe your Western shirt when you're listing it on eBay. So this is the anatomy of the Western shirt, and we're going to take a closer look at the different components that make up this classic piece of clothing and explore the history and the evolution of the Western shirt. The Western shirt has several key features that set it apart from other types of shirts. One of those that is most recognizable is the yoke, which is the piece of fabric that sits across the shoulders that helps distribute the weight of the shirt. The yoke is usually made up of contrasting fabric. It could be decorated with embroidery, studs, or other types of embellishments. And if you're wanting to sharpen your brand knowledge for eBay, then you could check out the link down below where I have my free ebook, Deep Diving My Top Favorite 50 Clothing Brands with Current Sell-Through Rates for eBay. This can be helpful for when you're outsourcing and need to check if a certain brand is on my top brand list. It's free and you can find it down in the link in the description. Another important feature is the snap closure, which is another type of closure that is commonly used with Western shirts. This simply allows for the shirt to be easily taken on and off and as well as a more authentic look and feel. The snaps are usually placed in front of the pockets and in front of the cuffs just like this. So snapped front and cuffs are a primary design elements that distinguish Western shirts from just original conventional shirts. But the snap button was added to Western shirts before the late 1930s and 1940s. So like I said, a really good indicator is checking out whether they have pearl snaps or not and then you could do further research. So some of the brands that I find in my area are brands like Wrangler, Roper, Cinch, Ariat, Rock and Roll Cowboy, Ryan Michael, Stetson, Scully, and Panhandle Slim, just to name a few. So this may vary from different regions, but if you are in like a place like the South or the Southwest, then this can be a great opportunity for you to master some of those brands that you might be able to find locally. So Western shirts have evolved over time with different styles and trends emerging all the time. Vintage Western shirts often have more intricate embroidery and they're made of more heavy fabrics like denim and wool. The cuts were also very different back then with more of a high-waisted tapered fit and modern versions like this are to be more min minimalistic and to have different fabrics, different colors and patterns and more of a relaxed fit and a wider hemline that is curved. When it comes to fit, it is important to remember that the Western shirt should be worn a bit more loose than a traditional dress shirt. This is to allow for more of a comfortable fit and ease of movement when doing ranch work. The sleeves should be long enough to cover the wrists, but not too long that they bunch up. And the collar should be comfortable and not tight around the neck. The Western shirt can be styled in many different ways, depending on the occasion and depending on the person. It can be worn tucked in with a pair of jeans and boots for a classic cowboy look or untucked with chinos and loafers and more of a modern casual look. It can also be layered under a sweater or a jacket for colder weather. This is the anatomy of the Western shirt from the yoke to the snap closure, to the evolution of the Western shirt over time, this Western shirt is a timeless classic that can be worn for a variety of occasions and styles. I will put a link down below that covers all of this information that goes more in detail about the anatomy of the Western shirt, and hopefully you can use some of that information so the next time you go out sourcing, maybe you can find some of those Western shirts as well. And if you wanna know what else is selling in our eBay store and the types of brands that I'm picking up on a weekly basis, you could check out this video here where it goes more in detail on the types of brands that we are selling and what we are selling them for. So check that out and we'll see you in the next one.